Now, this has led to a hung parliament. In the latest press conference, PTI chairman Gohar Ali Khan has said that the party will not negotiate with anyone and that Imran Khan remains their prime ministerial candidate. Earlier in the day, both Nawaz Sharif and the jailed ex-prime minister Imran Khan have declared victory in these action-packed elections. Now, we would like to remind the viewers that the results for 11 seats are still due to come in. Inshallah Taala, Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, Wafaq mein hukumat banne jayegi. Inshallah ham hukumat banayenge. Inshallah. Iske saath hi Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, KPK mein hukumat banayegi. Is waqt meri sabse darkhast hai awami mandate ko, is awam ki awas ko respect kare, isko har surat accept kare. Now as for the latest figures, the independents sit comfortably at 101 seat victory. Nawaz Sharif's PMLN is second in the race with the party securing 71 seats. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari's PPP is trailing behind those two at 54 seats. As per the government formation is concerned, the path to a coalition government is fairly clear. But the question that remains is, who will form an alliance in this race to power and inherit Pakistan's financial crisis? Now, the law mandates that independent candidates have to choose a party within 72 hours of the election results being declared. But what remains to be seen is, between Nawaz Sharif and Bilawal Bhutto, who will the bloc of independent candidates choose to form a government with? Or will the PMLN and PPP sideline the majority of Imran Khan loyalists and form a dynastic alliance of their own? Now, as you may know, Pakistan's elections have been at the center of poll rigging accusations. Not to forget the spurt in violence and terror attacks which push Pakistan further into an already unstable political atmosphere.